Ze doen alsof ze weten, maar ze weten niet de helft Niet denken dat ik stil zit, deze shit gaat niet vanzelf Ik heb mijn doel voor ogen, ja, ik weet waarvoor ik werk Ik ben begonnen in mijn eentje, ben al lang al op mezelf Dus doe niet alsof je weet morning guys it is friday and i did not vlog i just filmed a new intro and you guys already saw it what do you guys think what do you guys think of this new intro tell me what i should do tell me what i should change and i'll do it i it's so much work i need someone that can do like my intro for me but anyways guys i have a spa day today is is with chris um and amalia is in school so i will be heading to the spa it's 11 o'clock i won't be back until three or four or five i don't fucking know but um i don't know if i can film for you guys you know they're kind of strict probably this is the second time of me going there um but i'll see if i can film it i can i'll see what i can do I have a facial, I have a um, body scrub, a body wrap, I have a bamboo um, massage, I have a bunch of stuff, but hey, um, I also, since I didn't vlog all week, want to show you guys what i bought in la because that i didn't film yet so probably when i get back from this whole thing i probably have to pick up amaya by then but i feel like chris can do that too or usually we go together on friday um i want to film that oh for you guys because it's not a lot i had like i bought like seven or six things i don't know but they were just bags and shoes, which I can show you pew, 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 just like that. So, yeah. Also, my Tesla is with Chris. He went to Logan to get it washed and detailed and whatever. Logan is really good at doing all that. He does boat detailing, yachts, whatever, but he also does our cars. So, thank you, Logan. Um, so, today I'm going to have to take the caddy which is a stick. And for those who don't know, I recently learned how to drive stick shift. So good luck. Ooh. Um, Chris is probably gonna cry and die if I crash his caddy, but hey, I won't. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'll see you guys when I'm ready. I'm gonna get ready. I can't do anything because I am gonna get a facial, so I'm not gonna like do makeup or anything. I'll do my eyebrows probably. And then I'm gonna eat and leave. I changed into the robe. I'm gonna put my purse and everything in here. And yeah. See you guys later, guys. I just finished with my massage, my body shop, my body wrap, and my facial. My camera kept turning off, so I don't know if it filmed anything or not. Zen moment. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get ready. I saw that my Tesla's alarm was triggered. I have to call Chris. I'm filming on my phone. Camera is dead. But... I'll see you guys later. I am so nervous because I'm driving his fucking car and it shut down in the middle of the street. <sighs> Whatever, dude. Anyways, you guys. I'll see you guys later. Oh my god, guys. I made it back home. Just in case you guys didn't fucking know, this here. It's a beast. It's a fucking beast. I couldn't even park it closer to the other car, but this is a fast motherfucking car, and I cannot. I cannot, guys. I cannot. But anyways, my camera is super oily because obviously I just had a motherfucking massage. But um. My Tesla is getting tinted, detailed, car washed, 
ceramic coated, whatever you want to, whatever you can imagine. Just not wrapped yet. Oh shit, hold on. My bag was open the entire time. I have. Hello, guys. I um just got ready for work, but I didn't get dressed yet. So let me film this this for you guys really quickly because it's, I've been wanting to do this video for weeks now and I just don't get the time to do it um even though I didn't get a lot of things in LA the thing is when we go on vacation within the United States we have the same stores in Miami as well so for me it makes no sense to buy it somewhere else like I can get them here so I don't really buy stuff we go on vacation really to like just go on vacation but it wouldn't be LA if I didn't go on a no budget shopping spree on Rodeo Drive. So I'm gonna start with my bags. I got five bags, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. I got five bags in LA. Um, it's not like I couldn't get them here. They were also available here, but I never, I never thought about getting them until I was on Rodeo Drive and going in the stores so one by one and i was like all right the first bag i want to show you guys is this balenciaga cute little accent bag it's currently a color that i'm loving it's green and i think you guys saw this on my post on facebook it's my profile picture now i was wearing this bag to um this to the salt bay restaurant um when one, with one of the green shoes that I'm about to show you guys um, and it's a cute bag I believe this was $2,090 it comes with a strap listen, the bags are uh, out of the boxes, out of the dust bags because I used I used all of them except for one but um, it comes with a strap and the B is like a a metal silver color and yeah it's just wow it's amazing for cute little dinners or you know when you don't need that much stuff to carry around next we have this little cute bag that you guys already saw on my instagram as well because i already wore my bags guys i could not wait like here's the thing I wanted to wait to film the video and then use my stuff and then post them, but I couldn't. I could not. Guys, this bag here is the mother of all. Um, it is uh, $4,900 or some shit like that. It is very spacious. I love this bag. Um, and it comes with a long strap so you can wear it like cross body you can just hold it like this what 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 this is probably my favorite bag so far and i want to wear it all the time let me fix the camera a little bit i keep looking in the beauty finder but i want to wear it all the time but my third bag that i bought was this black saddle bag by Dior this oh, I'm gonna say it's my favorite bag too I guess here's the thing I wouldn't buy something that I don't like and I'm like oh this is a bag that I regret buying but this one here is so handy for when you go out and you know you're gonna get wasted this is the bag guys this is the bag um yeah i don't know what to say about this bag this is just an amazing bag i believe this one was three thousand nine hundred or something so that was the dior bag and i had to get another dior bag guys this dior bag is probably the most convenient i mean it's bigger as you can see it is bigger and it is also very convenient for me because i'm a mom of two so diapers wipes food drinks whatever you want it's in this bag i um it also comes with the strap and what 
This is my favorite color. And the gold details on this bag, amazing. I am in love with this bag. I think this bag was, I'll look up the price for you guys, okay? So that one bag over there was $4,900. It is worth it, it is huge. I really wanted it. I am thinking about getting the green, They're, they have like a pastel green one going on. And I'm thinking about getting that one just in a, a tinier size, not the smallest size, but the middle size. But I could not leave the Dior store without buying this beauty over here. Guys, this is probably my all-time favorite purchase I made in LA. This bag here is literally the shit. I only used it once. I, I never really want to use it, but I want to show it off. But hey, this bag is amazing. It opens like this. And it's also very spacious. It fits your phone, your wallet, whatever. Some a lipstick. And I believe this one was $4,200 and that was all for the bags this bag goes back in the dust bag guys <laughs> i'm not using it um it's only for date nights this here perfect next i want to show you guys the shoes that i got i bought four shoes i'm gonna sh i'm gonna hold this for last only because i didn't pick that one chris picked that one but let's start with Dior. If you guys don't know yet, Dior is my favorite brand. My favorite designer brand is probably Dior because their stuff is just wow. Um, I got this nude-ish beige um, pump. I love this shoe. It is amazing. It is fucking comfortable for a heel. The heel size is also not that high. I never wore this before, but let me get the chance to wear this guys i am gonna rock it um i believe these shoes were for 950 dollars yes but obviously i'm not gonna keep saying this but it is with a little bit of tags we live in the united states but hey you know it's worth it let me find the price of the other shoes really quick yeah next i have another pair of dior shoes i own two of them already but i have to get the white ones these are 750 790 dollars um they are very comfortable i wear them a lot i wear that's why i have two black ones and they're just phew, amazing next is a shoe that you guys already saw are the green pumps by Philip Lane. Look at the details, guys. I keep looking over there because my beauty finder is over there, but look at the details, guys. This print and inside there is this print. This is a very high heel for me. I do not wear heels anymore, but I try, guys. This is very, I want every color that they have of this one. This one was $1,100 or $1,200, but hey, look at the details. Look at this. It's amazing. Um, yeah, guys, that was my third shoe that I got. Um, but yeah, guys, last but not least, these shoes here. Um, these were $995, it says it over there. Um, I wish all the boxes said it, so I didn't have to like pull it up all the time. But these are the YSL pumps. This was not, um, something that I picked. This, I mean, I wanted them, but Chris was like, whoa. He was in love with them and he's like, baby, you have to get this so i got this i wore this the other night for two seconds and um yeah this is probably my favorite shoe as well well guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed this haul then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
and i'll see you guys in next week's vlog love you bye